Thank you. The Muskegon City Commission voting last night to approve a temporary ban on new short term rentals. This comes after hearing concerns from residents about the impact of short term rentals in residential areas. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega joins us live from the newsroom with more on this. Veronica, what happens next? Emily J, this pause on new short term rentals will last for about six months, but there is an option to extend it to 12. During that time, the city is planning to study the effects of these rentals on the community. Many of the concerns from residents include the feeling of being pushed out of their own neighborhood, plus worry over an ongoing housing shortage. People wanting to buy but can't because properties are being snatched up as rentals. The ban doesn't include existing rentals, only new ones in residential areas outside of downtown. There are now updated regulations that all short term property owners must follow. Uh, it includes several um, uh, statements uh, that have to be signed and acknowledged that they understand um, understand certain rules and regulations related to um, related to local zoning, whether that's parking, quiet hours, things of that nature. Uh, these have to be displayed uh, in the rental property. Existing rentals also have to follow some new rules, including a so-called three strike policy. That means if a short term rental property is in violation of any of the city's ordinances, they will be fined. The first violation is $250. The second will cost the property owner $500 and a third violation will result in a $1,000 fine and the rental license being revoked for up to one year. The City Commission was clear during last night's meeting that this is just a pause and it has the power to undo that pause before the six month time frame is up. In the newsroom, Veronica Ortega, 13 on your side.